In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic uh, configuration with the new Mini Effect Gizmo X. Um, so let's say, for example, you've got one of these great um, multi-effect processors. Uh, here we have a Fractal FM3, but we've got, you know, Line 6 makes the uh, Helix and the HX Stomp and that whole series. Um, Boss has uh, any number of processors. And uh, the, the key thing about all of them is that they have a MIDI output. And so you can use it to not only provide effects, but um, control other devices. So let's say you have one of these um, processors, but there are just a few pedals you just really can't live without. And the, uh, you know, the, the digital processor just doesn't uh, quite do it as well as your, as your old analog pedals do. So if you want to add those pedals, to your system, but still keep the uh, convenience of you know, switching between presets and, and you know, having everything switch with a single button press, that's where the Mini Effect Gizmo comes in. And so we've got our uh, sample set up here. Um, we've got the Fractal FM3, and we've got the Mini Effect Gizmo X. Um, I have only two pedals hooked up here, a compressor and a fuzz, but um, the Mini Effect Gizmo can take up to six pedals and um, we've got them connected together. The uh, connections are pretty simple. The uh, guitar goes into the Mini Effect Gizmo's input, Mini Effect Gizmo's output goes to the input of the FM3, and then your pedals connect to the uh, Mini Effect Gizmo. Um, each of the six loops has a send and return jack, and the send goes to the pedal input, and the return goes to the pedal output. And so now uh, we've got that all in a, uh, you know, audio path. And if you were to press the buttons on the Mini Effect Gizmo, they would turn on the, uh, you know, each particular pedal's loop, um, enabling that pedal and, and switching it into the signal path. Um, the only other connection necessary is a MIDI cable from the MIDI output of the processor to the MIDI input of the uh, Mini Effect Gizmo. And uh, I should uh, mention the Mini Effect Gizmo has uh, a 7 pin MIDI connector, where most devices have a 5 pin MIDI connector. Um, and that's okay, um, you can do that. Um, all you need is a standard 5 pin um, MIDI cable, and it'll still work. If you look here, we've got a, uh, what a 5 pin MIDI cable looks like, and our uh, 7 pin MIDI input. And um, the, uh, the bottom 5 pins still line up, so just make sure that the, uh, the gap in the pins is facing upwards and plug it into your MIDI input, and um, you're good to go. And so now, um, the only other thing here is uh, to make sure that your device is sending MIDI commands. Most of these products out of the box will send MIDI um, just uh, by default. Um, the FM3 needs one setting. Uh, we go to Setup, and go to the MIDI slash remote um, menu. And then we make sure that um, this Send MIDI PC is set to channel one. Um, at least on my unit by default, it was, it was set to off. So just make sure it's set to channel one. Uh, the Mini Effect Gizmo is also set to uh, channel one by default, so they will communicate with each other. Programming is super easy. Um, first thing you do is select a uh, preset on your uh, effects processor, um, any of them, and then on the Mini Effect Gizmo, uh, turn on the loops that you wish to have on for that preset. So let's say for this first preset here, we wanna have loop one on, and you hold the buffer button until the lights flash on the Mini Effect Gizmo. Now, if you hold that button for three seconds and the lights don't flash, something is wrong with your MIDI communications, and so check your cable, check your MIDI channel selections, and um, you know something is, something is up there and needs to be fixed. Um, so great, now we can go to this, another preset. And you see when I hit that, the uh, lights cleared on the Mini Effect Gizmo. Every preset has uh, all the loops turned off by default. So let's say this one, I want loop two on, and I hit store, or hold store, and um, that saves as well. And we can do a third preset, and you'll know, see, we'll just turn on a bunch of them and maybe a function switch also. And we hold store once again. And lights flash. And um, we've just programmed three presets. So if we press 
the first, we get our first preset setting, second preset setting, and third preset setting. And so that's the basic configuration. You can set up uh, any presets. The uh, mini effect gizmo can be configured for up to 1,024 presets, uh, an awful lot. And so, um, you know, it'll, it'll do the job for you and uh, keep those analog pedals switching um, as you switch your presets on your effect processor. Um, there are a lot of other things you can do. You can, uh, using the Mini Effect Gizmo X editor software, you can change loop order within the unit. Um, you can configure for mono and stereo configurations, and you can do a bunch of other things. Um, but that's all a topic for a later video.